Hello and welcome to Powerful Expansion 777. My name is Vanessa and I am an intuitive tarot card reader. In today's video, we're going to talk about what is your person's next move. And this is a love reading. It's timeless. So whenever you click on it, if it resonates with you, that is fine. Okay. So we have three piles here. Um, and when I say your person's next move, we could be talking about lovers, twin flames, soulmates, just your your um your husband, your wife, whoever your lover is, whoever it is that you have in your brain, even if you guys are not in contact. If it resonates with you, that is fine, okay? We have an amazing um merchandise in the comment, I'm sorry, in the description section. So check that out while you're here. Um watching the video afterwards. Um, if you like a personal or a private reading, my information is down in the description box. You will have to email me so we can get that rolling. Thank you to everyone who has been booking private readings as well as continually watching the channel and subscribing to the channel. Hi and nice to meet you to my new subscribers. Um, if you have any suggestions for pick a card readings, don't be afraid to write it down in the, the comment section. All right. Cause I do look at them and I will respond. Um, we do have the free drawing coming up still when we hit 200 subscribers, we'll, we'll do like, um, a free 30 minute reading that is pre-recorded, um, on whatever topic that you like. So stay tuned in for that. And to enter that, all you have to do is like, comment, um, subscribe to the channel. You can say whatever you want to say in the comments. All right. Um, I need clarity, anything of that order. Let's get into y'all reading, y'all. We're about to get started and see what your person's next move is going to be. This is deck one, deck two, and deck three. So I've already pre-shuffled them this time on this video because I wanted to cut down some time on the video. And I wanted to get straight into it, okay? So let's get started. See you at your part of the video. Oh, if this is your first time watching a pick a card, I leave the timestamps down in the comment section so you can see where to start your part of the video at. If one of the cards, um, one of the piles doesn't resonate with you, you're more than welcome to go watch another one, um, pick another pile, but try to go with your intuition and, you know, really tune in and feel which one pulls you in. Okay. So see you at your part of the video, my lovelies. So this is the pile that you chose here. Okay. I see you chose the one with the cycles here. All right. Nice choice. So we're going to see what your cards are and we're going to get straight into your reading because I want to know what is my number one's person um next move Ooh, a lot of earth energy lots of earth energy from your person mm -hmm. okay <laughs> I'm just really liking what I'm seeing all right so um, let me take a sip of my tea and we about to get into some details here, honey. Okay. So my number ones, your person is about to take a risk. Okay. Your person has actually been sitting back from some time watching you. All right. They've been watching you and their emotions been starting to feel some type of way. Um, with the page of cups, they got this little bubbly feeling I'm hearing inside. You give them this little bubbly feeling. And they actually been planning something. They've been planning something. So, hmm, yeah, they definitely been planning something. <laughs> They're working on something. Okay, um, we have... I feel like they're about to take a risk. Like they're about to do something that's going to be a little risky. All right. A little risky could be something pertaining towards coming towards you. That's going to be a little risky. They're, they're um, being required to put some strength through with what they about to do, what they're about to um, come up with. But right now I feel like they're kind of like sitting back or out of, out of, out of sight, basically kind of like out of mind, out of sight. Because we have the invisible card as well as the Black Panther. The Black Panther says sensuality and passion stir beneath a cloak of secrecy. So your person could have been being really secretive lately. Um, really kind of like in their 
in this place where they're really not showing too much emotion or showing you what they really got up their sleeve or what they're working on. But baby, let me tell you, they are working on something. Your person is working on something. The reason why I say that is they're working on changing something. Like something is growing and bubbling and boiling up in between them. I feel like it's some type of emotions towards um, a new endeavor or, you know, most likely you because this is a love reading. So they're feeling some type of way towards you they want to offer you something they i feel like they want to offer you this cup but they they're not exactly sure of exactly how they do it yet or how to go about doing it so that's why they feel like what they're about to do this next move they're about to make is going to be real risky they feel like they're taking a risk but they're feeling like it's worth the risk lots of pentacles okay lots of pentacles we have the nine of pentacles we have the ace of pentacles we have the the Knight of Pentacles, you see him riding in on that horse with that one Ace of Pentacles in his hand. Like, let me go in and show them. Um, Let me go back. I'm hearing for some of y'all. Let me come in and show her, you know, why she needs to be on my team. I'm here. <laughs> you know, they are trying to come in and show, um, surprise you or like kind of like shower you with something that has to do with materialism, well, with grounding something. For some of y'all, it's grounding the relationship for some of y'all is actually coming in and trying to just create happiness between the two of y'all. They're trying to come in with something that's going to be happy, abundant, um, with the nine. Um, trying to create whatever they're about to do next for you is going to be creating some type of harmony between the both of y'all. Setting some type of foundation, some abundance is going to be coming into this. Um... Things are just going to be flowing. They're trying to bring in pleasure to you. So somehow they're trying to bring you some type of pleasure that has to do with grounding this relationship. All right. So ground, if you guys um, are not right now together, they're trying to come together with you, but they're trying to think of ways to do it and how to step out and take this risk. If they are with you, y'all, they're trying to figure out how to really, you know, firm this relationship into a, a physical thing. But take it to the next level. But they, they're big on that coin. Your person is big on like um, making sure they have enough money to do the things that they need to do for their family. Um, making sure that the bag is secure. For some of y'all, I'm hearing y'all person is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Strong Capricorn. Strong Capricorn energy. Um, we got when changes are made for the sake of change itself. We have the uh, tortoise here resist and then we also have change is inevitable but when it comes to change it's a chance to shed a burden with the cobra and we have show your emotions and regenerate love so a lot of change energy is coming up here i'm hearing five 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 um so your person could be going through a change or is about to be a period where our relationship is about to change whatever your relationship is with this person right now is about to change. So their move that they're about to make, they're definitely trying to offer you something. They're working on it right now. I feel like they're thinking about it. They're going to be coming towards you soon with some type of offer, um, physical offer, something that you can see, you know, touch, feel, or live in, but they're working on it right now. It's still being mixed up in the pot. I'm hearing it's still being mixed up in the pot. So it's not, um, fully set in stone yet. All right, so the moon cards that we got here was the in, um the energy is gaining momentum. So it lets me know that this person is definitely working on this, is building up whatever they got, some type of emotional feelings for you, some type of love feelings for you I'm feeling. It's building up. It's building up. So it's making them where they're getting to this point where they're ready to, they're ready to do something about it, but they want to show you. They don't want to just talk to you, but the, my number one is your person don't just want to talk. They want to really be able to put that action behind how they've been feeling. They're going to be showing their emotions and um, towards you, and that's what's going to really regenerate this love. It says, hold your vision. So you um, may have lost sight of this or what this could be or what this person wants from you. Just was a simple fact, like they kind of unsure. They may be showing you like some wishy-washy type, like Cancer vibe, Pisces vibe, or Scorpio. They might be not showing you all the way exactly how they truly feel right now. So it's letting you know, hold your vision. Hold that positive vision that you have of this um, person and what could possibly come of this. Don't just um, think it is impossible just because they're not 
all the way sure yet of how they want to do it. Um, next, we have what do you uh, what do you need to release? So I feel like your person is actually working on releasing some things. I actually don't feel like this is for you. I feel like more so your person is going through a change right now. They're working on some things. That's why they're kind of being secretive about it. And that's what's going to bring about this um, this offer and them trying to come towards you with that pentacle. It says adjustments are required. So that just lets me know. This is also the third quarter moon. That lets me know that whatever they're working on is not done yet. It's not set in stone yet. It's not finished yet. So they got some ideas. They may be physically working towards it. They may be, you know, I'm hearing for some of y'all working towards a bag for y'all. But, or some of y'all trying to actually work on, like, how they can ground this relationship. But it's not set in stone yet. So it's not fully finished they're just trying to figure out how to do it. We have the warrior card here. So for I feel like your person is um, strong endurance. So it may not be fast, but it's coming. But your person definitely watching you. They're watching and sitting back and waiting. They're trying to be patient. They're trying to be silent. You may already know that they're watching you um, and planning something. But you just didn't know exactly what they were planning. All right. So for my number ones, that's what your person doing. Okay. Your person is definitely working on something. So I feel like their next move is about to be real risky. It's about to be an offer of abundance, pleasure, stability, um, something with family coming up here, something with, um, hmm, some type of completion, like making this relationship more complete, more set in stone. Also, material success so like some type of gain they're coming to you with some type of offer and it's definitely going to be a physical offer all right my number ones so that's their next move now they could possibly be making this move um let's see let's see how soon will um, my number ones person be making this move How soon will my number one person be making this moon? Move, I said moon. <laughs> well, how soon will they be making this move? Okay, it could be during the new moon time. Could be during um, new moon in Virgo, which I believe is coming up. Because we're in new, we're in the, um, well, actually... You know, I'm wrong on that. Um, new moon in Virgo, which is coming up though, I think, um, within the next month or so. Um, but let me get some clarification. How soon will my number one person be making this move that they're working on? You know, a good risk, a good plan takes time. You know, you don't want to rush it. So... Be patient, my number ones. Oh, we got the king of pentacles. Okay, so nine days for some of y'all, nine weeks, nine months. But they're working on something, and they're trying to come through with that king of pentacles energy, okay? Secure, um, firm foundation. Um, For my ladies watching this, this is a man who can supply what is needed for y'all to have a firm foundation in your relationship. He coming in, being able to provide for you. Okay. That's what he's trying to secure. This is where he's trying to get to. This is what he's working on. Um, strong Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo energy. And we even got another Virgo card. So yeah. All right. And it says it's the time to give rather than take. So this person is definitely trying to give you something. This person is trying to give you something. y'all. That's their next move. And it could be coming up in nine days, nine weeks, nine months, um, depending on who you are watching this video. This video is timeless. So no matter whenever you watch it, if it resonates with you, that is fine. If you like what you heard today, leave a comment in the comment section. Like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell when you want, if you want to get notified for new videos. Also, share the video if you know someone who needs to hear this. All right. All right, my love. See you. Um, pal two. We about to find out what is your person's next move and we're jumping straight into it. Okay. Cause I want to know their next move. Seems like they about to be moving fast for some of y'all. I'm feeling like, um, Ooh, 
Okay. They're trying to move fast. Okay, we're about to get started. Okay, so have some strong Scorpio energy here because we have already when I seen the horse, um, the wild horse, this is an uncontrollable horse. This is the wild horse. This horse is running in fast. We have the tiger. You know, tigers are fast and they hunt what they want. They hunt down what they want, you know. We have bat. All right. We have page of swords. Three of wands. Six of wands. Judgment. Denial. Lust. Okay. And we have love. All right. So I'll already get the sense that your person has some type of strong desire for you they have some type of strong desire for you all right um so so strong that they're thinking about running straight towards you without really even thinking through things through they really want to just run towards you without even thinking things through so because they have this wild horse energy and they have this lust energy okay um, hearing your person is thinking about, I know this is the next move video, but your person is thinking about, you know, being this way with you right now. They want to be like this with you. They want to be all over you right now um, for my number twos. So they're trying to figure out how can they get closer to you or how can they express themselves to you about how they feel because I feel like they do have some type of strong um, loving feelings towards you and they actually want to tell you. They have some type of strong passionate feelings towards you. They want to tell you. But for some reason, it feels like it's out of reach for them. It feels like it's out of reach with this denial card here. They're trying to reach and get these grapes right here off this tree, but it's like a little bit too high up. They can't reach it. They can't reach it. So with the um, page of swords, I get the sense that your person may be a little immature or the way they do things, like they're thinking about something with you that has to do with you and they're trying to get advice from somebody else about how to come about doing it. They're really talking to somebody else older than them for some of y'all. Someone that's really close to them. Trying to seek out guidance about this next move that they want to take with you. Um, because they kind of don't know how to control these feelings that they're having. They're needing some balance. They're needing some of this balance here with the judgment card coming up here. Also, time is coming up here strong. Something to do with time like them having to wait, not having it right now, how they want it right now, <laughs> how they really want it right now. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. I'm just taking a look at things. Hmm. Yeah, they're coming fast. They're coming fast because I'm looking at this three and the three of wands and I'm looking at that wild horse over there and that tiger is just staring at me very passionate. Okay, so for most of y'all that's watching this video, this is someone who you've been dealing with for some time and they kind of like fell back or you guys are not talking right now or you just took a break from this person. But they're trying to come back around because they feel very strongly towards you. Maybe they didn't even know when you first started this relationship or whatever type of um, relationship you have with this person. They didn't realize how strong of a put this relationship had on them how it made them feel so passionate because with the wild horse it says speak your passion aloud and defend those whom you love and were indeed so this person's trying to run towards you for real for real their next move is really is i feel like a lot of them is going to be trying to rush in and say something to you about how they feel about you or they're actually going to be trying to rush in and be blocked because it's not time yet. Because something with time keeps on coming up here. But I know that this person is trying to move in fast. Because with the three of wands. It's like speeding up. You know, speed trying to speed things up. Wishing time could speed up. So I can tell them how I feel. Um, 
we have the tiger and it says passionate adventure back in. So they feel like I hear me, I'm hearing that some of y'all person, they like to chase. They like to chase. So that's kind of like a turn on for them. So they feel like their next move is more so of them trying to chase you and express their love to you or express their passion for you or their lust. That Now, that doesn't mean that this person is like, that doesn't mean like for everyone, this person is like head over heels in love with you, but it's some type of fire this relationship gives them and it makes them feel really, really good. So it's causing them to want to come towards you. It's, it's causing them to want to come towards you so fast. I'm, I'm feeling like, like I'm seeing a tornado when I think about it. Like just coming in real, real fast. So fast that they may not have gathered their thoughts before they do it, but they know they just want to express their love for you. With the judgment card, I feel like they've been reevaluating how they um, have acted in the past. And they're trying to, like, let go certain um, aspects of them that may not be as positive and also let go of their fears. They're trying to actually work through some fears because this particular group, your person has some type of fears that has been stopping them from coming forward for a little while now. Um, they have some type of fears, so it could be something they're dealing with within their self about how you may view them. But they're definitely trying to come towards you, and they're trying to come towards you fast. Now, let me see. Um... Let me see, What's the, what, what is their person trying to do when they come towards them? You know, we're just going to put a couple extra cards. What is my number two's person trying to do while they coming in so fast? I mean, I feel like they really just want to come together with you body to body to skin to skin based off of that lust card. Um, they're trying to ignite some of that fire. I'm feeling like with my number twos. <laughs> Y'all is funny. Y'all person is funny. Because they, they don't got no patience. They're really trying to work on their patience. Your person is most likely a Scorpio. For most of the collective people watching this video. Um, your person, this video, this particular um, group is giving me strong Scorpio energy. So they have some deep fantasies and desires about you. Actually causing them to want to move in. Um towards you but what is they trying to come in and do <laughs> oh yeah they just want to have a good time <laughs> they just want to have a good time right <laughs> so the reason why i say y'all person just want to have a good time on number two is because we got the playful card we got the little kitty here playing jumping in the air playing with the feather just having a good time um we got the rigid card with the crow standing on the uh, brick wall here the stone wall um they're trying to break down some barriers <clears throat> we got the honesty card with the uh with the candle and the flame mm. so for some of y'all <clears throat> your person is trying to have like some type of steamy meet up candle lights and roses type situation they're just trying to have a good time i'm feeling and i'm hearing this strong i just want to have a good time okay um now they feel like for some of y'all y'all got a block y'all got a wall up and they're trying to get break down that wall they're trying to come through that wall and that's part of their little next move they have here where they just want to break down that wall and come towards you now we got the surrender to the divine card here um, under full moon, so they could possibly try to do this during a full moon period, you know, whenever the full moon is coming through. And we got Scorpio and another Scorpio. So definitely lots of Scorpio energy. If not Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. That's what I'm feeling strong for this video. If not that, um, I'm just feeling a lot of, lots of, uh, Scorpio energy, y'all. But it could be any other sign. It could be any other sign, um, moon, sun, and rising, all right? So your person's definitely trying to come towards you. They're trying to come to you, towards you and get physical, I feel like. Um, and they're coming fast when they come. As soon as they're able to get down past that wall, it's action time, okay? All right, so if you like what you heard today, don't be afraid to leave a comment like share subscribe to the channel all right um we have some amazing merchandise in the description section if you'd like to go look in through there and see what's going on um 
Yeah, and if you have any suggestions for pick a card readings, you can leave that in the comment section. I um, look at all the comments and I respond. So definitely leave some suggestions of some type of pick a card you would like to see. Share the video if you know someone who would like to hear it. And have an amazing week, my lovelies. Also, if you'd like to book a private reading, the information is down there. All right? But have an amazing week. Bye-bye. See you on the next video. All right, my number three is we about to see what y'all person's next move is because I want to know, okay? I'm, I'm being nosy. I want to know. And we have your cards here. I'm about to lay them out. All right, so we can see what your person's next move is for my number threes. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so for this group, something is something is really taking place here. Um, that has to do with you. So I want to call y'all my my number threes. I want to call y'all my manifestors. The reason why I'm saying this is because I'm seeing here in the cards that. You know what? Yeah. And I, I was going to move the cards around, but actually the only thing I'm going to move around is these two and I'm going to let them sit just there like it is. The reason why I say that for my number threes, y'all's are completely different from the other two is because y'all person's next move is dependent on your energy. All right. Your person's next moves is dependent on your energy. You have strong manifestation and um, attraction um, energy. If you do not know that yet, um, this is the only reading that went that's going in this direction. Uh, lots of creative energy, lots of manifestation, visionary type energy. So that lets me know that their next move is based off of what you're putting out into the universe, like how you're feeling, what you're thinking. Because what I see here right now is that right now your person is blocked from you. You're being forbidden. It's like a forbidden door close, a door close. All right. Feeling like you can't get past that door. That So your person is actually feeling like this as well. They're kind of like mirroring you. So this particular group, you and your person may be like some type of twin flame soulmate type of situation for your particular group, whoever it is that you're thinking about when you're watching this video. So if it resonates with you, um, Leave a comment or let me know in the comment section. Or if you don't want to, you can just like the video. But it feels like right now a door is closed for both of y'all. And I feel like one of y'all is standing on one side of the door. And another one of y'all is standing on the other side of the door. And y'all are thinking about each other. You know what I'm saying? Y'all really, some of y'all are really worrying about this situation, I feel like. Or some of y'all are really feeling like, when am I, am I ever going to be able to be with this person? Or am I ever going to be able to see this person? Um, But your person is feeling like, they are trapped, all right? They're feeling like um, they can't move forward right now with the situation. They're trying to figure it out. They're obsessing over this relationship or like this feeling or this desire they have towards you, all right? They're feeling like this is something that is out of their control, even though it's not. They're, if they're marrying you, so, you know, you may be feeling the same way, like this relationship is out of your control, um, how you feel really doesn't have a plan in it, but it does. And the obsessive route is not the route to take um, or codependency. It's not the route to take. So, you know, your person is feeling like, okay, I'm trapped. Um, I want to get out of this cage. And for some of y'all, I just heard come up, your person may actually be like behind bars or something or um, in a position where they can't really, they may be in a different location from you. They may be incarcerated or something. Is something coming up here that has to do with them feeling trapped. But I feel like these are self-imposed um, trapped based off of, the way of, of their thinking, obsessive thinking, um, excessive worry, not feeling good enough. So they're not coming forward yet or not really expressing how they feel. But baby, you know, this person is about to do something. Once they master their um, emotions and passion for this situation and really sit back in the hierophant position and master um, their higher self, really become more balanced and um, connect with spirit, connect with a higher source outside of their self to get some answers about the situation because they're unsure about this. They're trying to figure out like, 
why I feel so passionate about this person or why I'm so obsessed with this person, why I keep checking their page I'm here for some of y'all or why I keep thinking about them. They're on my mind when I'm working. They're on my mind. When they really become balanced in the situation and seek out some answers, because the Hierophant, you know, he's the in-between in like to decipher words from God to mankind. So they have to really do some introspection and connect with their higher self and kind of connect with God and, you know, really wait for some clear signs before they move towards you. So they have to really work on that self right now. I feel like a strong thing to work on itself. But we have lots of tradition here. Um, your person's next move could be them actually really stepping into their purpose. Stepping into their calling or their purpose of what they're here to be on um, earth for right now. Um, now you might say, like, how does that tie into me? What did that got to do with me? Because they can't really come together with you into their step into their calling or their purpose. They can't move forward. That's why this forbidden door is here. Um, this forbidden place is here. They can't really um, come to you in a way that they want to because they have to really um, align with their heart's desires first. You're part of that, but they have to do for themselves first. So they have to get balanced. You know, a, a wedding could be coming for some of y'all. But it's going to come after they do some things for their own soul. So once they get past that, okay, their next move is some of y'all, they're going to be trying to, a lot of y'all, they're trying to make you their wife. They're trying to make you the mother of their children. Um, they're trying to have an abundant time with you, prosperous time with you, um, really treat you like the empress that you are. They want to treat you like the empress that you are. They see you as the divine feminine, as their divine counterpart. So they really want to be able to offer you something um, that can make you feel very sure and secure that they are the one and they are worth having, um, you know, a family, a union with. Now, your person is trying to use their intuition to really understand this uh connection with the raven card here it says listen to your intuition to receive a message from the world of spirit so remember like i was saying they have to connect to the divine they have to connect to god that god source um to really understand this relationship once they understand it and how it ties into their purpose of what they're here for then that's when they'll be able to make a, a clear move towards you because they can make a move now if they're impatient but it may not be in alignment or it may not be time yet. I'm hearing time strong here too. Um, when, when, when it's not time yet and you move before that, things may not play out the way that could be a little bit more cohesive for the both of y'all. Um, they're starting to create a vision, all right? Because they're realizing that they have this creative energy. They're realizing that. So they're starting to create a vision of what y'all two could be together, like how this could play out. Um, you're definitely a part of their soul family because we have the belonging here. So they're going to want to come towards you. And for some of y'all, they're going to be trying to get like a home together with you. The movement is going to be moving into a home together, um, moving together for some of y'all. I'm here moving together, coming together in one place. So um, some of y'all may have, oh yeah, because we got the eight of pentacles. All right. That's opportunity. An uh, offer is coming up. So I feel like for some of y'all, y'all person is saying like, let's move together or let's make a home together. I feel like it's definitely going to be some marriage with that though because we have the empress here and he's going to be trying to have you as he, um, and you know, I know that, um, you know, um, both sex watch these videos. So your person could be also, um, a woman, I'm sorry, a male, but depending on who you are watching this video, whatever the case is, your person is trying to come together under the same household with you. So for some of you, this person is working on building a house, buying a house, or just getting some type of secure home for the both of y'all. They're trying to offer you something that's firm and strong so that you guys can build on that. Um, they definitely want to treat you like this. I feel like this is your person over here, the Hierophant, and this is you, the Empress over here. And you're kind of like, they're kind of like, um, connecting with God and trying to figure out the right route to take, the right path to take so that it can lead it back to you. But I'm also hearing all routes lead back to the same place. All routes lead back home. I'm hearing all routes lead back home. So fulfillment. So 
your person is about to be giving you your fulfillment, honey. Um, your person is going to be fulfilling their desires and dreams as well as yours. Somehow you guys is going to be tying in together. So their move, once they align with their purpose, once they align with this higher source, then they'll be able to connect with you. You guys will be having this fruitful time where you'll be able to produce together, whether it be children, whether it be a business, whether it be a home, a family, whatever, um, just doing the things you guys love. It's about to be a time where you're going to be really aligned with the things that you love and that your person loves. So it's about to be a good time coming up for y'all, my number threes. This person is moving towards you with some type of like, I'm hearing like, um, a dream come true, like fantasy type of, or oh, fairy tale type of ending eventually. All right. It says your person could possibly be an Aquarius or Virgo. If they're not Aquarius, Virgo, they could be Aries. All right. If they're not, it could be with this group. I feel like we have a lot more larger group of people with the collective of divine um, lovers. So I feel like we have Aquarius. Um, if not Aquarius, we have Gemini in their chart or Libra. If not that, we have Virgo, Capricorn, and Tauruses. If not that, your person may be um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart. But I feel strongly, um, I hear Leo's too strongly, but Aries... Virgo and Aquarius. All right. So that's um, what your person's trying to do. They're trying to come in on some, um, you know, some serious getting their stuff together, getting their stuff together. So let me see um, how long will it be? Bef how long will this uh, take for my number threes? How long will it be before they hear something from this person? As far as, <laughs> okay. Wow. Ooh. We get in. <clears throat> okay. So, I have a few things here that I'm getting. Basically, it's going to be... Um, once your person really starts wanting something that's going to last... Um, and I feel like a lot of them are going into that one, but they have to drop these, uh, they have to drop any type of, um, disbelief they have about this relationship because they're not understanding this, especially if they're a twin flame, your person may not even understand what that type of stuff means. So mates, they may not believe in that stuff. So once they get past that, some of you, it could be four months. Um, some of you a whole 12 months, it, a whole year could go past. Um, before they really, things get into where they're supposed to be. But for some of y'all, it's going to be in the summertime. Summertime. Um, so let's say about five to six months. Five to six months for the most of you. Um, and remember this video is timeless. So whenever you click on it, go from that time. But this person is going to come with this once they realize that they do really want something that's going to last. But in order to have something that's going to last, you got to be willing to let something go. We have bring love in the situation. So definitely be compassionate towards this person. Be understanding and be patient. I feel like that's a big part of love, those three words. A fiery climax is approaching. So I'm telling you something that you may not be expecting is coming with this person. And it's going to be steamy and fiery. And... It has, you are good enough. So your person may be working on some self-esteem, self-worth, all of those type of things about how they believe, how they feel and believe about their self, how they feel like if they even, you know, they may feel like they don't deserve you, things like that. So they're working on that and you should be working on those things as well if they're showing up for you. And with time, your person will be coming. But you both have like this, um, you're have, you have a connection to the intuition and you also have a connection to the creative realm. So how you think, how your feelings and emotions project into the, um, the vortex of energy is what you'll get back, I'm feeling like, with this particular group. So really work on yourself in order to draw this in sooner. All right? 
So that's what we have for my number threes. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. I have merchandise in the description box if you click on the link and all that other good information. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you heard, subscribe to the channel. If it's your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell and let's just, you know, give me some um, suggestions on what you guys would like to hear next as far as a pick a card video. This is the month of February when I made this video, even though it's timeless. So um, we're going to be doing love readings all month. All right. Bye bye, my loves. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. Have a great week. I'm thankful for all of you.